Hey everybody, this is Matt with what, Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. So we're doing another video in the shop this uh, morning and we want to talk about some of the modifications that we've made to the Grizzly Radius Sander. Um, so let's get right to it. So the way it came from the factory was actually pretty good and it worked great, um, but after we used it a few times, we decided that we could make it work a little bit better for our purposes. So one of the things that we did right away was modify the pendulum arm. Let's check it out. So if you have this machine, you know that the pendulum arm does not have these uh, holes. It has a slot. And that works great, especially if you're doing lots of different kinds of necks. But since all of our necks are the same, we thought we'd modify it for us. So what we did first was we established all the different radiuses that we're going to use and usually that's going to be 10 and 12. We also added a 7 and a quarter, a 14 and a 16. And um, since all of our necks are 1 and 13 sixteenths thick with the fretboard glued on, we measured from the bottom of the fretboard to seven and a quarter, 10, 12, and we did it right on the money. Another thing that we did was we added these, um, Kevin came up with this one, there's holes for the, uh, the pivot pins to fit in, and, and we just go ahead and screw them on so it's exactly right every time. We also eliminated the single pin to hold the, uh, the cross members in place on both the support beam here and well, you can't really see it because the neck's on there, but to hold this together here. It's pretty much rock solid. Another thing, since all of our necks are 1 and um, 13 sixteenths from the fretboard to here, we went ahead and um, made it so that you can just screw the entire neck to the, the fixture. And since all this meat is going to get cut away anyway, um, those screw holes will be gone. And we added this solid piece here with holes so that you could just get a screw gun in here and zip the screw directly to the neck and basically have it be perfect every time. You might notice too, we've added a bunch of shims to the arrangement. There's one there, there's one here, there's one here. So this guy is, is it's really, really stable now, but it had lots and lots of wobble and wiggle before. So um, anyway, so we've already done this fretboard. And, and as you get it in here, as you can see, I mean, it's, it's, pretty, well, it's pretty well spot on. So um, we were really, really happy with the modifications that we made to this. So far, the Grizzly Radius Sander has been um, a gigantic time saver for us. And uh, especially with the modifications that Kevin came up with and has implemented for said Radius Sander. We might do some other modifications in the future. We've got some ideas for these upright pieces. Um, you know, and I think, I think the Grizzly unit is pretty good for what it is. Um, and especially if you're doing lots of different fretboards, lots of different compound radiuses and stuff, uh, it's probably really great. Um, but I think we've got ours modified to work perfectly for what we do in the shop. And I would encourage you to get your own radius sander or really any tool that you have and modify it to work perfect for you in your shop too. So if y'all have any questions about the Grizzly Radius Sander or the modifications that we have made, uh, please let me know. If you have any comments, make sure to leave them below. Uh, like I say, questions, comments, I'll try to answer those as best I can. Um, or you can always send me an email, uh, texastoastmat at gmail.com. So if you like content like this and you wanna see more, Please make sure to subscribe. We've got good stuff coming all the time. This is Matt at Texas Toast Guitars reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody.